Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question. And this question is, how this static variable behave in case of template classes or template functions? We all know what is the use of static variables. It is local to the scope, like you cannot access this variable outside this printf. And this will be alive throughout the program for this function. Okay, And the same is applicable for the classes also all the objects will share the same static variable but what if it is a template function and template class we all know what is the meaning of templatization like if you will be writing it like print one then this whole function will get replaced with the i i mean one which is an integer type so this t will be replaced with integer here okay and this is character so this will get replaced with the character this t and this is a float value so it will be replaced with the double okay so there will be three printer functions after compiling this okay but this static variable will be common for all those three functions or will be separately available for all the different print functions we'll see that only the question is that only okay so let's look at the function case here we'll see the class case also so I will just compile and check that. So this is compiled. Now we will execute this 11, 11, 11. So what did you expect it? Maybe you expected the same or different. So what is this 11, 11 and 11? So as I told, the printf is executed three times, but different, different printf were executed. Here we all know there was three printf instantiation. So on the basis of this call, compiler will generate three printf and this printf will call integer version of the printf where this will have like the whole thing will be like this only but instead of t it will have integer return that okay and for this x there will be some character here and this float value there will be some double like this okay and this static will be different for all the functions okay it is not going to be common that's why it is printing 11 and 11 and 11 if it would have been common for all the functions it would have print like 11 12 and 13 it means this is not common and the same case is applicable for classes also okay so i'll show you the class example here and yeah i wanted to show you that it is really local to every function we can do it like this if we are going to call that integer version of function two time, then first time it will be 11, then 12, then 11 and 11. So let's go ahead and compile that, run that, see 11, 12, 11, 11. Okay. So this static variable var is different for all the instantiated functions. Clear? Let's move to the class example here. I will change this t to t, this integer to t, and maybe we are good to go anywhere. This t is not there, right? So this play plus, and then we are good. So let's go and check the correctness here. Yeah, it is compiling. We will run this. Uh oh. And it is running 1 and 1. So now it is for sure that it will be instantiated two times. Once this t will be integer, and another time this t will be float. Okay? So this whole class will be written two times with integer here and with float here and the same case will be here for definition of this variable also okay so as we can see here this is one and one if this would have been common for all the classes then once we incremented this variable and again we are instantiating this class and if we are printing the same function which we might think that okay now it will increment by one so it should be two but it is not two okay i think you got the point here and yeah as i showed you for that purpose i will create another like p1 and p1 dot print value so we'll see that it is really the way i am telling you see one two one okay why this is two because you have instantiated the same class two times so now you are going to share the same static variable in case of integer okay so i think we are good to go for the next video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video